Alright, this is much better. Slides in and out. There you go. Alright, so that's done. So next up is the uh, making the bracket, the L bracket. Since this is more like a time consuming, <laughs> I will make it out of this. I'll just gonna keep updating you on what's up, on how far I, uh, I get to this. So before I put this together, I will show you. So I simply just transfer it onto this. Mark it. And once I cut this into shape, I'll find the center and use my center punch and then drill a hole in it. Not for show, but it will do. I need to polish this up. That way it will sit flat on the block. I have accomplished one thing for today, which is this bracket. And check it out. So it goes like so. There it is. I'm going to put some more holes here. That way it will lighten up a little bit. And for the back, right here, nah, I think there's no need. That should be good enough. I think. All right. For the starter, I still have a lot of things. I don't want to keep removing it, not until I got everything all finalized, as far as like the shaft, and I will do the helical last that way. I'll just do it one time. I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. Next up is this one. This is what I've come up with. Why I don't just come up with a straight plate and be done with it? Because I wanted to keep the VIN number. For someone that know that's been in the other side of the law, this will prove my innocence right there. Yeah, once that rivet is gone, you void it. That's it. It'll just a lot easier just to identify that this is legit that's all yeah that's the reason why i came up with this so i don't have to mess around with that vin number all right so uh i guess a uh, concept into reality maybe the final product will be not exactly like this but uh it's still within the concept I put a bend in here, right here, so I don't have to weld anything. And I'm gonna use it on this uh, quarter inch. First thing I'll do is this one right here. I'll put some holes, bolt it on there. Cut this to the desired uh, form, bend it, make some holes, 
bolt it on there so it will be in an angle and then make my bracing right here and then weld it making a little bit of progress the bracket all welded and everything and I'm going to finalize this bracket I'm gonna cut it into shape got the bracket all finished up turns freely then it's time to uh, send it to a paint shop The bolts I'm going to use is one of these. This is the original mounting bolts. It has this shoulder. That way it doesn't uh, wobble as much. I need to use one of those Allen bolts. I could use a stud but I don't have anything with me here in my uh, garage something like this the thread is all messed up plus that one is too short so I'm just gonna get me one of those uh, allen uh, head bolts I have decided to put the helicoil on this side I'm just gonna use the uh, long bolt Uh, for some of you why I didn't use a metric uh, inserts or a helicoil it's because of this uh, one half by 13 is just perfectly sized that's the reason one and I have a bunch of these uh, inserts if I use a metric I have to use a larger bolt I think it will be uh, 19 millimeter I think but uh, mainly why I chose to use a standard it's because I have a bunch of these at home so I'm just gonna put it to use that's why so if you ever gonna do this you can use a metric let's see if I can try it I have to, uh, let me do it by hand Straight. Push the 
and Broke off. Got the starter all situated. Helicoil's on there. And I added a, a dowel pin. At least one. I think that will help tremendously. There used to be one for F series, it's right here. And all I did is cut it off and just grafted this one. So it's almost like a factory, an extra. <laughs> and the bracket, I made the bracket, you saw it. And also the axle. And this one, my idea for the clutch, I added a spacer. I thought about cutting this off and extended it. I've been doing a lot of mock-up on a piece of paper on how it should be that I'm not changing the uh, the travel on this one and I learned to find out that it has to be bent if I ever extended about the thickness of that spacer right there but I came up with a different ideas because I have plenty of this slave cylinder laying around and why not just use some of it. I used to rebuild this but not anymore. It's actually just cheaper to just get a new one and you have a lifetime warranty for it. Rather than uh, cut this off and play around with the travel and all that. So this is what I did. I already welded the other part. So this is how it's gonna be. I'm gonna weld these two together. This is the same distance same as that spacer that I added on and it'll just go in like so like that so I should not be changing anything at all I'd rather do this than have you know in an angle Will this thing rotate inside? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think vibration will. Yeah, I think vibration will, uh, will have this thing rotate. What would happen? Well, the worst thing it can happen is, of course, it's gonna go by the weight so it will be rotating about 90 degrees if that happened it only in a slight angle it's unlikely that it will rotate like this it's because of the weight not unless I put some kind of a anti-rotation device right here but I will find out so this is with the boot it's gonna go like so what do you guys think it will rotate I think it will rotate on me <laughs> <laughs> It's not too late to put a little piece right here. <laughs> oh man. But uh, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I think it's better than uh, extending the fork. I'll find out if this thing's gonna rotate. <laughs> Next is uh, I'm gonna open this transmission. 
I think I got everything. Yeah, except for the H22 half shafts. But uh, I'm going to open this up because I don't want to mark it up inside the engine bay and then take it back out again just to disassemble or look inside. So I think uh, it's better for me to uh, open this up and uh, check uh, if everything is good. This thing is notorious for a third gear grind, they say. This is where it ends. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and the like button. Man, I hope you guys liked the, uh, those four episodes. It really got me all excited, yeah. Uh, mentally wise, man, just thinking about it, all the mods that I have to do, everything else, I will think of something and then all of a sudden, once I get going, then it has to change. Plan is always subjected to a change. And I'll see you guys. Bye, Bron. Bye bye. It's like factory.